Wow, hey everybody. I'm in the corner of uh, Dundas Street West and Humber Trail, something like that. Anyway, let's make this light. Let's check out the sign. Street 2, it says Humber Hill Avenue. Okay, we'll make a, a west side direction here. This guy's always playing his music this loud. What? Oh, it's a big party going on over there. Let's check out some of these stores. I'm heading to Lambton Park. From there, I want to get down to Old Mill Bridge and chill down by the river a little bit. I'm just checking out this area along Dundas. If you follow me, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I do laser salon. I do point of view films on bike and on, uh, on walking. Here we go. This is a little mall here, but uh, I'm entering this park and I'm trying to get to where the railway tracks are. And I saw on the map that there's some trails there. Uh, let's try it this way. Check that out and then from there I'll find a trail to the Humber River Trail and uh, try to get to the Old Mill Bridge. Today is June 4th weekend and it's hot. There's a humidity and uh, heat warning. So I'm wearing my shorts for the first time in a year and a half. Um, they seem to help. Seem to help. Let's see where we are. We're gonna take it easy because we are already getting hot. I rode here from Jane's side and uh, where we started the video, there was a big construction. They're demolishing a whole half a block. I guess they're doing condos. And, uh, here we go. Little trail here. Oh man, it's getting uphill. Just when I said I want to take it easy, we got an uphill coming. I did a couple of walking videos in um, Girard Street yesterday. And it was hot too, I'll tell you. I don't know which is hotter, walking or biking, but... Oh, this trail keeps going up. Let's take a look-see here. Look at these red benches. Looking at uh, trees growing. Perhaps with no view, you know? That's kind of weird. I don't know. I guess when they put the benches there, there was a view and the trees took it away. Okay. Let's put a timer. Oh, we don't want this to make beeping noise the whole time. It's a very old stopwatch exercise heart meter and uh, very old. So which way now? I guess, uh, I guess this way. No avoiding it, some serious uphill in a serious heat. It's June 5th, something like that. Can't believe it's already a heat wave. All right. Oh man, that's a... Is that a cheating way or... This is really steep. Now what? I remember coming here, so that's where we came from. I remember coming here a long time ago. But it was so long ago that there wasn't any trees here. Wow, there's nobody here. The 
railway tracks are to my left. I bet you this is the car entrance. You're not climbing that steep hill. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. I know I'm moving away from the river. The river is right behind me, but let's just go a little bit. See where this goes to. Looks like a drivable road. Oh, I see. It gets to the arena and the parking lot. Okay, this is the this is the easy way to come here. Look, you know what's fine? The parking lot's empty, and there's very few people here. Those people are chilling in the light. It's no matter what you, how busy it gets in the summer, no matter what city you're in, you always can find places that are like nobody there. We are, if you're not from Toronto, we are very close to the center of the city we're about we're at Jane and Bloor and uh, yeah it's pretty much uh, 45 minutes maybe less I would say half an hour bike ride to the core of the city in Toronto and not far we're we're still in a subway line zone in the Toronto area, which means very close to, to that. It's beautiful. These power lines are amazing. They energize you with, within. Wow, it's windy too, which just cools you right off. There's a little trail here. I don't know if it's possible to go up this. And there's some kids here. Oh man. I think they're doing a rap video, music video, so let's not bother them. They're doing a rap video. It's a good spot for rap video though. But where does this go? It's going down. Oof. It's getting pretty steep, this guy. First down, first time riding down a hill, you gotta really take it easy because you don't know what's what's there. Oh look, there's a cool bank here. I guess people have been riding here. Oh yeah, they have. They've built a little uh, little area here. A bench, maybe. Oh, it still goes down. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Maybe you can't tell on a video, but it's it's decent steep. Not super, super steep, but it's okay. This is much less steep. But uh, like I was saying, if it's your first time riding down, you got to take it easy because you don't know what kind of obstacles you're going to have. Like this guy. You don't want to be hitting this at a high speed. But sun. Wow, it's so much warmer down here. Suddenly got warmer down here. Should be the opposite, isn't it? There's another hill that goes up here. And there's a sign here that I have no idea what it says. It says stay away. Where does this go? Does it go far or is it closed? Just isn't that a bike trail? It's blocked off. Is it blocked the golf course, right? Yeah. Alright, thanks. Alright. Hmm. Let's go in here. In here. I knew there was a golf course there, but I thought maybe, you know, they kind of maybe opened it. I don't know. Wow. Oof. So this is Humber River. We're at the 
We are on the river. We made it to the river from Dundas and what was that street? Humber Boulevard? Humber something? I'll put it in the map. Oops. See, there's a wire there. Oh man. And just like that, we are by the river. Oh man, oh man, I don't think we can get out of here. Ooh, ah, la, la. Ah. Hi guys. Oh, wow. What are they doing there? Chilling out by the river, yo. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh my god. All right. Okay, I think we. Well, shoot, we, we're going by the river, so we should be okay. We should be okay. We're still southern action. I know I did a video at the bottom section of this river. That's they're doing big time construction. So it's, I think it's open on the weekends, but it's not paved, which is good because we'll make it as much of a off road trail as possible. Let's do a look see here. Here's your portage. Portage is where you get off your canoe and then put your canoe back on the water or take it out and you go to the next lake. That just looks like a portage. Portage. And the trick to portage is to have as least amount of gear as possible because you don't want to be carrying heavy gear through a bush to the next lake. Basically, you come with a boat to a lake. When the lake ends, you carry your boat and the stuff you've have inside the boat to the next lake. So if you have less gear, easier it is. If you have a lot of gear, it pretty much screwed. Okay. Oof. So we're, this is my tires are covered in mud. Oof. So we're back on the regular bike trail. We'll try to get off of it as soon as we can. That was a little fun action. I like that downhill. A little bit slow, but it was fun. I just liked it because it was kind of unknown at first. You don't know if it's going to be stairs or... Oh, it's much flying. Mud's flying everywhere. So this would be Dundas Bridge. So we were kind of on there. That's Dundas, Dundas Bridge, yeah. That's Dundas Bridge. <laughs> this is the. Let's check this out. I'm gonna do a U turn. It's the other side of the bridge. Uh, that is yeah that is the that is the bridge I'm trying to get my angles right Oof, there's a heavy smell of um, marijuana marijuana there's a smell of marijuana riding your bike while you're hiking is very good makes you go faster I guess you don't feel the pain of the uphills you know, it's kind of dark in here. Let's get out of here. Everybody's gathered here. Let's watch the waterfalls. There's waterfalls to my right, and the river is to my right. This uh, tree canopy is heavy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Oh la la! Oh, we little bit skip there, huh? Little bit skip, skip the back wheel, skid, the skid or skip. We are skipping. Very nice. Okay, there's a. Oh, there's a path here. It looks like a path. I don't know if he goes anywhere or not, but you know what? Why not? Oh, it's 
Oof, worst comes to worst. Gotta watch these branches. Worst comes to worst, we just walk back. What could go wrong? Uh oh. Like this. I don't want to be rubbing myself against all of these. Not very good. Okay. Hi. Uh, just disturbing everybody. <laughs> Whoever just gets a spot by the river, kind of secluded thing, nobody shows up. There goes me showing up with a bike, showing up from the river. Hello, hi. I always say hi. <sighs> yeah. We're just ruining everybody's. Can we go down this? Well, they took their bike down. Ooh. Hey. Hi, guys. There you go. So they came by the river, too. They're like, hey, let's hang out here. And there I show up. There I show up with a bike. I always say hi just to be... So they can't yell at you. You gotta be nice. Oh, wow. Hmm. It can be a river, right? It's coming from a sewer system. So we just crossed the sewer. It's beautiful. And it's not raining, but the water still comes out of it. So who knows what the water is that? Kind of a nuclear. There you go. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> That's the theme of this video. How many people? How many people we can disturb in the park? Let's see it. That guy's sitting here, having drinking beer. Beautiful. Take his shirt off, relaxing in the sun. Get somebody in the deep. There are a couple down there too. Sorry. <laughs> she was giving me the most dirty eyes possible. I wasn't even disturbing her. She was just looking at me like nasty. You go to Clint Eastwood eyes, you know. She's about to shoot me. Had a gun? I'll be dead. I'll be dead. Oh, let's check this place out for a sec. It's very nice. So we are at... Um, I'm gonna point where we are at the map. I've got a map GPS running on my watch because, man, I couldn't remember all these parks' names. And, and I like to keep a diary of where I'm going, actually. I just don't wanna ride blindly. Uh, the maps that I put on the video are pretty accurate for my own sake, so I remember. And, uh, you know, <sighs> open weekdays and holidays. Look at this, they got this one of these highway signs here construction ahead Let's see if we can do a shot here huh. close Monday to Friday I don't know okay let's go I know there's some trails here definitely trails here I've been to some of these trails in the winter time I prefer riding my bike in the winter to summer I know some of you think I'm nuts but you know, if you dress warm in the winter, it keeps you in shape and holy moly, is it ever dark in here? Oh my god. Hold on, I take my sunglasses off. I bought these sunglasses from Mountain Equipment Co-op. They're on sale for like 27 bucks. They're decent, they're decent. Not the super sharp lens, but <sighs> I want to go. Oh, look at those stairs. Okay, thank you. Yo, yo, you the bazi kum. Bazi kum, the let it Okay. It's pretty cool. We are in the city look at these trees they all look like they all fell from up there 
because look, they fell on the trail and somebody cut them out with a chainsaw. And you know, that one has a rope attached to it. That's funny. You know what? Let's go check the rope. There, there is a rope attached to it. Oh, forget it. I guess that's when they used to pull the trees down. Once you cut it, I guess you don't want it to fall on the house, so... Oh, I gotta make it fast. Oh, God. House. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Oh, la, la. Very nice. Nice trends. I don't know how the lighting is. Pretty dark. Oh. I can hear the river. You can hear the river. The river. You gotta hear it, right? So we're gonna come out of here and go right by the river. It's hot in this, uh, hot and humid in this forested land. The jungles of Toronto. Oh, the jungles of Toronto. Okay, there's like a little log thing. There goes my glasses. Ah, let me put my glasses back on. I wanted to make a sharp turn to flip the rear of the bike but all right Oof. we're back in the sunlight by the river is this a trail oh man i think we're in a, a little bit of a, a crooked trail oh gee oh. Oh. okay at least we're by the river it's not a very smooth bike trail i'll tell you that the GPS says come this way. I'm just following GPS. Oh my God. This can't be the right trail. I guess so, it says on the GPS. Oh my God. This is nuts. That's beautiful. That trail is, oh, it's got a few many, a few too many rocks in it. What's the temperature? 30 kind of 30 30 ish humid hot sweaty you're begging for the wind you know in the winter time you just don't want any wind any little bit of wind goes right through your clothes you know that gore-tex material that's supposed to be windproof and breathable <laughs> yeah not for the canadian winter it goes right through gore-tex it goes right inside and it gets trapped in there Oh, it's still good. Still better than nothing. So we're getting to the fence. This area is the construction site begins. We're gonna go check it out too. It's like a fenced off area. So that, let's see if we can clean this without hitting the rocks. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. There's a motor running. Oof, and it smells like, you know that motor is that they burn diesel? The whole place smells like burnt diesel. Look at that tree, it's cool too. See? Very Tarzan. Oh, 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 oh. Who knows Tarzan? I don't know any of my, yeah, most of my followers should be old enough to know. Let's go check out this construction. Oh. Tarzan was a film back in the 60s and 50s, I guess. He used to go and, uh, See a guy used to live in the jungle and befriend the animals and jump from branch to branch. Okay, there it is. There's a I'd say a big hole, I guess. Pretty white. And there's one of those machines there. Anyway. Alright. That was a little detour, construction detour. 
You guys probably can guess. I love construction. I like changes. And look at this. They got this guy here. They got two diggers down here behind that stupid black thing. Anyway, let's go back to the river. Come on. Here. Here. He he. Back to the river. Uh oh, tight shot here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Made it, made it, made it. I like maneuvering. I like biking when I have to maneuver. I don't like to go for long, straight longs. This would have been easy, easier trail. Take a detour on this and climb it right here. Ooh, can we do it? Easy. It's gonna be tough when it's okay. Here's another bunch of people. Oh. They were making out. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> they didn't look. They were too busy making out. Super make out session. You know, I mean the park is closed. <sighs> here you go. Let's go. Look at this. Nobody's here. You know, I did a shopping video yesterday when I went shopping at what was it? Sobeys. It's a shopping store in Canada. I went about half an hour to closing. And there were a few people in there not a lot and uh yeah i try to avoid all crowds as much as possible just because it's more fun when there's nobody around when you shop right you know who wants to line up for a shop to pay and stuff more of this rock and roll stuff Ooh, same with the parks i mean nobody comes here oh my god not here let's go let's play in the rocks a little bit mm. One hand that touching the camera, stop playing with the camera. Or it's against the law playing with the camera while you're riding on a railway or whatever. But this riding on this, if your air is taken out of your tires a little bit, it's really good. And also gives you a good balance, right? Because you have to, to, to make it, you can't use too much power. And you have to kind of be relaxed. And you have to kind of like let the bike do its thing. And you can maneuver, you can, because like, if you don't like this rock, just lift the front wheel and you'll go over it. You can't last minute change direction. That's when you flash, like this, right over it. Right over it. You don't have to, but you go right over it. Very relaxed. Let, let the bike do its own thing. It's like 4x4. Four four. If you ever drive a 4x4 four four in a rocky area, you put it in 4L. And you let go of the clutch and then let the car just go over the rocks. Don't force it. Same with this. Don't try to, you know, hammer and ride hard and all that. Just like this. Lift the front and then lift the back. Let the bike go. All right. I want to let these people go by. Meanwhile, we'll take a look at the river where we came from. And, better yet, we drink some water. I wonder if we can go where they're going. Instead of going around this river, I got this water bottle that's. Oh man. I got this. Uh, I don't know if it's a biking thing. Whew. Yeah, they're not moving. All right, let's just wait a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can make it there. That'll be an interesting. Right, let's change the gears. I almost skid it. I just hope the okay, very simple, simple. Oops, oh, simple. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh man, I put one foot down, panicked. I was worried about the stupid phone monitor, it was shaking like crazy. I thought that was good fun like i said the trick to riding on rocks and stuff is not to give up and just be very relaxed and let the bike kind of do his own thing don't put too much force don't turn the wheel too hard don't hit the brakes just just go i'm the worst teacher when it comes to i'm just gonna stomp all those people get out of the way of it and here just a few seconds all right I waited a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we just take it easy. We play around here till they 
move out of the way a little bit. Maybe try to go up this. Come on. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah, I don't want to. The trick to riding a bike is. Oh, maybe we can go this way and then avoid those trees. The trick is not to piss pedestrians off. Because then they go and complain. And, wow. Oh, see, there are people here. I don't know why that guy was moving rain, but I don't know. I want to get back to the river. But you know, maybe you can pass these people. Hmm. Oh, there is a path to the river. So this used to be the bike path where they dug it up for the construction. It's always good to wear some sort of eye protection in places like this because uh, you get a lot of branches and stuff. It's beautiful stuff. Maybe stop by and do a little bit of a photo shoot. We came back. We're back in. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Beautiful. Wow. The, the, it's a nice breeze here. Oh my god. It was worth it coming here look at this this is gorgeous i'm gonna take a rest stop here i showed up here in the winter time riding my bike on this river when it was frozen and uh this gorgeous place let's go and see of course winter looks much nicer because that's all white instead of green there's somebody sitting here probably somebody here too Nobody here. Wow. This is a good spot. We're going to take a little rest, take some pictures here, and then we head out again. Okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. So I did some pictures here and uh, took some time. A few people came by and we talked a little bit and we're heading out again. Heading out. Wow, look at this. Uh, just gonna squeeze here till you guys go back. Don't worry, keep going, keep going, don't worry. Don't fall in the water. All right, thanks. Wow, there's lots of Canada geese in the water. These guys are noisy bunch, you know. They're they're fun bunch, but they're super noisy. My favorite uh, thing they do is when they do low pass flying right over the river. Sometimes at sunset, they go up and down the river real close to the surface. A bunch of show-offs, to be honest with you. Make a ruckus, big noise. Oh, wow. Fun birds. All right, so we're here. We're gonna are doing a selfie right on the edge. Let's get out of here. Okay, this is not climbable. Definitely not. Let's squeeze out of this gate and run out of the park. All right, we're out. this is where the construction is. I wonder if I can ride down this. Oh, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's nice of the city to dig all the park up for a little bit of mountain biking action. I think I can ride on this or not. No. Oh, you need a bit more 
commitment that I don't have right now. All right, let's go. This used to be a bike path here, and they're doing construction and some, but I do like it like this. I think it's kind of neat. It's very quiet. It's a weekend in the park. And uh, not many people around here. It's, it's interesting. As soon as people see the construction, they kind of stay away. I guess it's not as nice, but it's a great place to ride because you get a bit of a dirt trails, you know, some rocky sections, and you get a nice place to... My rear tire is pretty much bald. Bald. And uh, I'm trying to preserve it for next year. I don't want to have to buy a new tire uh, as much as I can. Hey, man. All right, so this is the parking lot of the closed park. I think it's open. Let's go inside this. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can't go inside this because this blocked. I wonder if the other side is open. Oh no, it's these are massive things. Solid. Look at this. Yeah, watch, watch, watch. Boom. Sounds like one of those drums, war drums. Boom. Wow. It's got this one of these loaders or that's it. They're digging and playing, having a good time, these guys. All right, so we are at the ends of this ride. I'm gonna end this ride up here and I'm gonna head to Bloor from the street up there. One more uphill. Oh man, I'm loving these uphills. There we go. Hammer up this hill and if you like my content, I do walking and biking point of view films. If you like my films, uh, add and subscribe and like and all those kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next film. Thank you. Gee, more uphill? Come on, man. Is the film still running?